Welcome. This is a very interesting part of the Legal Eagle build. This is pertaining to the Legal Eagle XL Aileron Parts Fixture Time Savings, prepared by Iron Design LLC, Scott Weinberg, Iron Design Air Parts at gmail.com. Part 1 of 3. What we're trying to do here is save time by pre building full ribs of various configurations in order. By estimating the correct layout, we can almost build the entire wing with follow up trimming for the aileron to be cut loose after the build with minimal work, sanding, and fabrication. How we do this is make all templates to plans, then cutting the rib templates, gussets, K blocks, nose rib blocks, aileron end gussets will save a great deal of time and effort and can produce a very nice product in the end. This is showing our typical fixture. You don't have to have one a fixture that looks like this, but you have to have a fixture that will be versatile. What we're showing here is the basic jig. We have the first full rib in full detail. Note the two gussets are not shown. This is for clarity purpose only. Here's direct off some supplemental plans that I produce, 24 by 36 inch plans, so these are pretty good size. It's showing uh, various measurements here. Again, if you had the supplements and compared them back to the main plans, a lot of this will make a little bit more sense. But this is just showing what we've just seen. This is it in a 3D look. And here would be a typical drawn out drafting look. So, on our first rib that is changed from the full rib, we're adding this hinge block plate gusset. The hole is in place both in our jig and on this block that ensures that everything is lined up and it is concentric for this hole and the jig hole and all the other holes in the airplane wing to be matched. Again this is just a drawing showing some uh, details that I have on the prints. It's basically showing precisely how this all come to be. And here it is standing back from the wing showing this part in place. Keep in mind we do not have the braces in and a few other parts. The rear spar is translucent strictly so you can see all the rest of the wing in place. But of course that would be a solid spar web. And here we are counting our 13 ribs and this of course is taking place in rib 7. Now we need to calculate where our first end rib for the aileron would be starting. Again at rib 7, notice we place our K block. This can be fitted on the inside or on the outside or both. You'll see how I added it to, to both. This is all based on using an aluminum cove shape as shown on the plan supplement. This is just one version on how I chose to do it. Again we're using the main hole to be concentric with the hinge block hole for all this to take place. And this will show it a lot better. So the hinge block plate on the previous slides and we'll flip back to those very quick right there dead center of the screen is a hinge block and now we'll look forward and there you can see it on the left hand side just below the 0.8 millimeter ply then we attached a 8 millimeter 0.8 millimeter ply and up in call out A would be the K block, B would be another 0.8 mil, 
fill in gusset and C is showing the translucent rear spar web and last down below is the 0.25 or quarter inch plywood for the end of your aileron shown here in uh, transparency is a hinge block on the inside with a Delrun bushing. Again, this is just one way the typical tubing bushing would also work here. And then, as you can see, there's a few other translucent parts for clarity purpose only. This is the end of part one of three. I'm doing this to keep the clip shorter and to make the review easier. I hope this clarified to some extent our design revisions. Any thoughts on making this better or more clear, please send an email to irondesignairpartsgmail.com. Thank you.